Okay, we're going to do another little simple update. I made mention in the previous video about hurricane season. Hurricane season usually goes from June 1st to November 30th. This is today, the 24th of July. The 24th of July? Happy Independence Day times two! <laughs> 24th of July! Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this was for 2021, but I do need you all to pay attention. Well, this is 22, uh, 2022 Atlantic season. Let's go ahead and click on the census.gov. Because, you know, the government ain't never been wrong. They always knows how to sense us, okay? And let's see. I'm looking September, August, August, August. July. Hurricane Elsa? July 1st? Oh, caused widespread damage. Well, would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? They talk about all the damage it done caused, but how they never take care of the people. You see, ladies, if all property is owned by the government, then why are you paying insurance? Hold on. Oh, depository institutions. Y'all need to understand that if you're going to be sitting up there operating as a depository institution, here are them regulations for them depository institutions. Then you got to say to yourself, does that really apply to me? Uh, hey, hey, Homer, does that apply to us? Okay, so we talked to you guys just a second ago about all of y'all with y'all's property and some of y'all just don't understand and so we're gonna take y'all right about oh did i go too far man you just keep going too far oh i didn't do this page well let's do it now okay we're gonna do that and yeah we can do that right there it, under the new law the money is issued to the bank in exchange for government obligations bills of exchange bankers acceptances trade acceptances these are all government obligations when you read the act they'll be worth 100 cents on a dollar why because they're backed by the credit of the nation it will represent a mortgage on all of the homes and other property of all the people of the nation why are you paying insurance when they have mortgaged your home for your benefit but why are you paying insurance the property is a government obligation why are you paying insurance? The property is a government obligation. Why are you paying insurance? The property is a government obligation. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the problem. First, people don't know how. Hold on. People don't know how. Say what? People don't know how to walk into court and walk out of court. They only know how to be sued in court. Oh yeah, my mama got sued, and man, did she know how to get that done. She just sat up there and she just said she wasn't going to nobody's court, and she wasn't gonna respond to nobody's judge, and next thing you know there, they took our house because they say she uh, defaulted. My mother ain't never ever been faulted for nothing other than that right there she ain't never had no other faults but that one this is a document that will eventually be up on the site right now the previous document is up on the site but this one is color coded to show you all the sections that you should be focusing on oh sorry voice recognition came on that's why I kept bouncing back so what I've done with this one so that you guys see I've over encode it and highlight it and highlight it for your benefit so that when you go over this you can see what to focus on and you can read I wish and I hope that for the new administration's all the success no one wants to see the administration achieve more so than I do I shall go so far as to say no other man 
to see success come to it, but I say now that the leadership, the first thing it must do is it must audit the U.S. Treasury. Have you heard that before, Ron Paul? Ladies and gentlemen, the Treasury will never be audited. Why? The Treasury is a corporation. Of course they must file taxes. The Treasury is a corporation. Of course they must file taxes. Hold on. The Treasury is a corporation. Of course they must file taxes. Huh? Oh well. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I need y'all to understand. I'm going to do this one right here because this is important. Okay? Where are we going to start right here? Let's go now to remembering the house continue and we're going to stop right there and then we're going to do one more because oh by the way right now in my background is a bunch of slow rock music it's to keep the dog's attention okay so right now there in my background they're asleep and so while they're asleep because if I don't do that, they will whine and whine and whine. So the right now, four of them are accounted for. So the people who will be getting these animals, I want to make sure that they don't have any problems with them. Okay. Now, we are going to understand that they understood exactly what was going on about the United States being in a state of emergency. Ain't that interesting? So that you guys understand that. The reason why it's necessary for you to understand because Mr. Biden just declared a state of emergency here in the United States last week. And there were some people who paid attention, but he declared a state of emergency. What he did not do, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to pay attention. He did not declare a national emergency. And it was on purpose that Biden did not use the word national emergency. Because they are aware of people like me telling you that national emergency invokes the Trading with the Enemy Act. This act right here. Now remember, the Trading with the Enemy Act of 1917, October 6, 1917, and March 9, 1933, neither one of those have been repealed. So they're still in effect to this day. So whenever the government declares an emergency, pay attention, Whenever the federal government declares an emergency, pay attention. Whenever the national government declares an emergency, they are declaring a national emergency because the president is supposed to represent the nation. Remember, it's a representative government. So they're declaring national emergency. This is how they took control of everything. This is how they took control of you. They did it through the military. Trading with the Enemy Act is a military act. Now, I want you understand. I want y'all to understand this because people, I've been trying to tell y'all this right here. I want to know, so far as I am concerned, that this bill represents the ideas of the new administration, the New Deal. This was the beginning of the New Deal, presidential proclamation, and that's why we're using all three. The March 9, 1933 Act, the Congressional Record, excuse me, all four, and the Federal Reserve Act Amendment. This was the New Deal. Look, he says, I shall fight it and do everything that I can to defeat it. I'm going to highlight that too because I love that part right there. Why? He says, I should help carry it through if it is that. If it, on the other hand, this bill is, has been proposed and written by the same influences that are responsible for this financial situation, I shall fight it. It was written by those same individuals. They, to this day, the author of the bill has never come forward. Okay? But understand, this was the new deal. The new contract. The new offer. Y'all need to pay attention. So we provided this information for you. 
and let you know which parts you need to focus on. Ladies and gentlemen, now I want y'all to pay attention to this because this is very important. The banks say that your currency is an unacceptable form of payment when you use money orders. I want you to understand, when you use a money order, pay attention because it's very important that you pay attention. Such notes, what type of notes are they talking about? Well, they let you know what notes they're talking about just above. It says such notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bankers' acceptances, so deposited as a security, they are securities, such notes shall be obligations of the Federal Reserve Bank. Again, government obligations because the Federal Reserve Bank represents the United States. How do we know that? When required to do so by the Secretary of the Treasury, each Federal Reserve agent shall act as an agent of the Treasury of the United States or the Comptroller of the Currency or both for the performance of any of the functions which the Treasurer or the Comptroller of the Currency may be called upon to perform in carrying out the provisions of this paragraph. They represent the United States. And, hold on, these notes shall be receivable at par in all parts of the United States for the purpose, same purposes as the national bank notes, legal tender, and shall be redeemable in lawful money in the United States on presentation to the United States Treasury or at the bank of issue. Ladies and gentlemen, your promissory notes and all of that is legal tender. All you need to do is know how to explain it. So seriously, you just take this paragraph and you write them. I'm creating a letter that will basically put this in a nutshell because you know nuts belong in shells. <laughs> Cages. Anyway, um, and I will get that to you. Again, there are some complainers, and I'm sorry that there are those. However, the information I'm providing you doesn't cost you a dime. It only costs me my time. So by now, I hope you understand. So again, the reason for this was to just highlight that one fact. I just wish that everybody would pay attention to what's really going on in our world that you pay attention to what's not going on. This is hurricane season, ladies and gentlemen. You and I both know we are hearing about hurricanes hitting those islands. How come we haven't heard that? What's so different about this year? Oh, the heat. Hoo-wee. The heat is astonishing, ain't it? Well, tropical storms. Nobody said we don't have tropical storms, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody said we don't have tropical storms. Because we do. But pay attention to this right here. June 1st to November 30th is the normal season. Go ahead and see how many hurricanes. Um, let's do... Let's get rid of that. Okay. We're going to go right here and we're going to put NU. Watch this. Predict six to ten hurricanes to occur in 2022. Wait, no, 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 hold on. <laughs> you notice, uh, if you read the other one, it says a higher than normal hurricane season. Now they're just saying six to ten. And see, predicts an above normal 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. And notice this, May 12, 2022. Uh-oh, sorry, Charlie. Uh-oh, now it says forecast calls for 14 to 21 named storms with winds of 39 miles per hour or greater. How many named storms do we have yet? Now, these are all early, June 1st, June 8th. Um, seventh consecutive, above average. Second, con seventh consecutive. It's just, we haven't heard any hurricanes. I haven't heard of any. I don't watch the news. But I know I'm often watching the weather. Okay? And they're predicting. Because they are not forecasters. They are fortune tellers. That's what they do. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. The dogs, uh, puppies, I found that they sleep roughly about 20 hours a day. And so what I did in my living room, I created a little pen for them. 
it's a fence that I had that's a pliable fence so I bent the fence in half it's a four foot fence I made it about three feet tall because they can't climb out of it and I anchored it with some um, jacks uh, for they're like trailer jacks they're 8,000 pound capacity jacks so they're pretty heavy and so I anchored it so that they can't lift it up or move it and they're here in the living room with me so I'll get to keep a better eye I was using my storage closet for them and I ain't gonna be doing that no more because I got tired of having to get up and go check and get back down and come back in the living room and back and forth back and forth back and forth but I've when I cleared out the storage closet I took everything and put it in the living room and I didn't have any room to move around in this living room because everything that was in that closet was all over the place it's still all over my bedroom so what did I have to do ladies and gentlemen I just simply had to understand that I needed to take my time because as Mariah says love takes time well she didn't say it exactly like that but y'all know what I'm trying to say and so now that I had the time, now it took me a full week to clear out the living room, to put everything in boxes, because I just don't have the energy to do it all at once. A normal person would have done it in a half, well, probably about two hours. Sorry. I ain't normal. Oh, we can tell you ain't normal, mother. Anyway, your mama. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the area right now that they're on, I have a tarp that I was using to cover up the cement. I have about 90, 90, 90 pound bags of cement. Most of it is still sitting on the pallet. Purchased that sometime, I think like end of October. You haven't been able to do anything with it. Oh, by the way, they stink too because now they are learning how to defecate. So I have to clean up behind them. So I gotta go take care of that now because my house can't smell like this. Man, it's, uh, anyway, I can handle that. That's not a big deal. Um, next week, they'll probably be outside doing that and they'll learn to do it outside and then we'll start house training them. Um, when the time comes, when they're able to walk, we'll have our morning routine where they go out and I take them, oh, that's going to be a routine, trust me, because I have to carry each one of them outside the door because the steps are too high, and walk them every morning, every afternoon, every evening. That's how you house train a dog. And so we will take care of that. But for the time being, I'm going to let y'all go so I can go take care of them. Just wanted to, there have been some people who have been worried and asking about the dogs. As a matter of fact, quite a few people have commented on it uh, very stressful time I tell people it's the most stressful period of my life I know what when them women who be birthing babies I understand not about the birthing part but about the nursing and taking care Lord have mercy I get you don't let nobody ever sit up there and make light of what y'all go through cuz you just sit up there and slap them in the back of the head all right I gotta go I have work to do but y'all take care okay all right. Goodbye, people.